Welcome back to another episode of Amanda's Kitchen. Today, I'm doing a product review for the Still Made Flat Top Griddle. I got this for Christmas from my husband and we used it for about two weeks. I recently did a short TikTok video on this product and got 107,000 views. So clearly there's an interest in the still made flat top griddle. If you're interested in this product, I will put the link in the description below. Be sure to watch this video till the end. I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I can't wait to tell you what I think and we're starting now. First of all, what I love about this product is it fits right on top of your stove and it gives you all this space to cook. It turns your stove into a hibachi station. How fun is that? Look how huge this thing is. It's 30 inches of flat top cooking space. 30 inches. <laughs> Seriously guys, it's a lot of fun to cook on. You feel like you're a hibachi chef. Or maybe at the Waffle House you can cook up some, no. Ding, 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 ding. The number one question I get asked is the cleanup process. How easy is it to clean? When you first get it, it's gonna look a stainless steel color. Over time, as you start cooking on it, it seasons just like a cast iron skillet. So these brown spots are exactly what you want. This means that it's starting to season and your food will not stick and it will make your food taste delicious. It will darken and blacken evenly over time. It's really not that hard to clean. All you need is water and a scraper. <laughs> it's true. Hey guys, a lot of you are asking about how to clean the griddle. It's pretty simple. What you're gonna do is with the heat still on, you're gonna add water. Take your, take your tool and scrape. Once all of the bits and pieces are up, you're going to take a rag and wipe everything down. Last step, apply a thin layer of flat top oil. And rub in with a paper towel. The other thing I love about this product is the way the food tastes. The meat is so tender when it comes off the grill, and according to Steel Maid's website, it's the way it's designed. There is no lip here. It causes airflow and it makes the, the meat very tender. Surprisingly, grease does not drip from the front. Here's the drip pan. All you do is place it under here, and it catches all the grease as you cook and you can scrape it in here for easy cleanup. This holds a lot more than it looks. This product is made in the good old USA. USA, USA. <laughs> All right, you may be asking, what is the price? It's $169. I think it's a pretty good price considering the outdoor grills can range up to 300 or more dollars. One of the most well-known outdoor grills that this compares to is the Blackstone. Do you have a Blackstone? If so, type in the comments below what you make on your grill and what you like about it. If you have a Blackstone grill, I would love to hear from you. If you do purchase one of these, I recommend getting the tool kit. It comes with two spatulas and a scraper, and then it also comes with these two containers for your oil and water, the flat top oil to clean your griddle, 
and then the flat top scrub for those hard and stuck on pieces. When we ordered ours, this came with everything in it for about $35. Let's talk about some of the things that I don't love about this. And if you wanna purchase one, these are some things that you should consider. First of all, it is very large and heavy, so you need to think about where you're gonna store it. Is it gonna stay on the stove? Are you gonna keep it in your garage or in the pantry? It's something you really should consider. A lot of people don't like the seasoned look. Another option is to buy a cutting board cover. They sell the cutting board cover on the website and I'll post a link. Another pretty major concern is that it covers all of your burners. So if you need to boil water, it can boil water, but it takes a much longer time. What I do to boil water is I move the entire griddle to the side. They do offer two different sizes if this is a concern for you. They have a half size for $99 and three four size for $139. That way you have two burners accessible. <laughs> All right guys, here's the final verdict. Would I recommend you buying one? Absolutely. This is so much fun to cook on and it is so versatile. You can make so many items in a large quantity. You can make eggs, bacon, hibachi, um, sandwiches, so many things and I think you're gonna love it. For $169, I definitely think it's worth the value. I'm looking forward to making more videos. Type in the comment below what recipes you want me to make. Or if you're considering buying one, what recipes are you planning on making? All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Three, two, I'm just gonna breathe. Test, test, welcome back to another episode of Amanda's Kitchen. Today, I'm making chicken pal chicken for the steel made flat top grill. Welcome back to another episode of Amanda's. Delete it. Oh, that's too loud. I know. One of the most well known outdoor grills is the Blackstone. One of the most well made. <laughs> One of the most well known outdoor grills is called Blackstone. It's okay, this. Are you planning on making? Don't forget to put. Don't forget to comment in the description below.